Before I start, I just want to say many thanks to all the people who bought the files and decided to make this device. A big thanks to everybody in the comments with great ideas. This means a lot to me since developing a working device is not cheap and it's time consuming. I, I've been working on this basic version for three and a half years now. I just wanted this device to be fully tested and optimized. I'm sorry for being late with this video, I had a lot to do and a lot to plan for the future. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say here as you can see. Thanks to everybody, I managed to bought RGB LEDs and I'm conducting tests, continuing to improve this device and uh, don't worry, the old version will be upgradable to the new hardware. The PCB board for the color version is complete, as you can see. And since I'm mentioning PCBs, I just wanted to say a big thanks to JLC PCB for sponsoring this video. Check out these awesome PCBs, the quality is spot on. Design your own affordable custom boards. Thanks JLC. Check out their modern website, ordering is easy, just upload compressed Gerber files. Choose the number of PCBs and color you wish. I choose black because it suits the best. They offer other services like making stencils, assembly, 3D printing and CSC machining. As a new user, you get $54 in coupons. Links in the description below. First, we need to solder SMD components onto the PCB board. Prepare the two PCB boards you order from the manufacturer along with the 330 ohm resistors, 4 blue LEDs or any color you prefer, 32 white LEDs and 4 shift registers. The first and the last LEDs are blue and the rest are white. Now solder those LEDs with the soldering iron. I made the larger pads on the PCB board so you have better access on the sides for soldering. Solder only one pad for each LED so you can align them. If they are all aligned, solder the other pads. And watch for the polarity of the LEDs. Alternatively, you can build a soldering heat panel and solder all at once. Next, prepare the shift registers. Solder one leg of each register so you can align them first. Use soldering flux to avoid shorting the register pins. Clean everything up with a cloth and alcohol. Do the same for the other board. I use this computer flat cable, or you can order a recommended one from the boom list. Split 7 wires with a scalpel if you want to control blue LEDs. If not, cut 6 of them 15 cm long. Now cut the insulation too. On the end, split the wire separately. Do that for both sides. Use soldering flux again. Orient the flat cable towards the upper shift register marked with U1. Use 7 wires if you want to control blue LEDs and connect an additional wire to BL pad. If you do not want to control the blue LEDs, solder the plus 5 and BL pads together. Do not forget to split the flat cable somewhere in the middle, it will be important later. Next, we will assemble the top part and connect it with the DC motor. Take the capacitors and these two parts you printed. Adjust the capacitor pins through the small holes. Now bend them like so.
Next, solder them in parallel. That gray mark means it's a negative pole. Mark the corresponding side with the minus and the other one with the plus. Take the infrared receiver and cut the pins. Insert it facing downwards and bend the pins. Prepare the LED PCB holders with the PCBs you soldered. Run the flat cable through the top hole of the PCB holder. I changed this part a little bit. I cut the left and right holes of the black top part to make the process simpler. Just run the flat cable through the canal and bend the wires upwards relative to the part. Place the bottom part and slide them both into the PCB connector. Do the same for the other side. Leave a few centimeters of the cable from the PCBs. Next, prepare the 10 kilo ohm resistor and solder it to the collector of the infrared receiver. For more info, check the schematics. Solder the resistor to plus 5 volts. Next, the emitter to the negative pole. And for the end, the wire for the signal, leave it hanging for now. This is not the same as for the 3.3V boards, so use the provided appropriate schematics for 3.3V. Use the hot glue and a lighter to glue the infrared receiver. Smear the glue around while it cools. Prepare the screws and nuts and the motor with the commutator you already assembled. Once again, check if the top register is marked with the U1 on both sides of the black part. Slide the PCB holder until you see the small hole. This is why you need to split the flat cable in the middle. Use the metal pin to clear the hole even more. Insert the M2 nut and slide the PCB almost all the way. Insert the 1 cm long M2 screw and screw it while holding the nut. Press the PCB and screw it to the PCB holder. Here you can use longer 8mm screws than the 6mm I use. Do the same for the other side. Prepare an 8mm long M2 screw and the motor with the casing. Insert the red wire into the positively marked hole. Do the same for the negative side. Now connect them together. Screw the M2 screw all the way. Make it tight.
I'm using Raspberry Pi as an example. I made it convenient to make the video with it so I can later test my software with this board. I recommend you twist one flat cable so you can solder more easily because many wires go in parallel. I skip the soldering part because it takes some time to solder all the wires. Just follow the schematics and you'll be fine. Prepare the small PCB holders and M2 6mm screws with nuts. Bend the flat cables and press the PCB. Make sure you tuck all the wires inside and under the microcontroller. Next, hold the nut with the small PCB holder and screw the screws all the way. I have made the adjustment so you can screw the screws on the top and still have the grip on the nuts for safety. Do the same for the rest of the screws and nuts. I made a small PCB holder so that the outside wall of the nut rests parallel to the printed walls. This guarantees that the nut will not fly around the room and it will definitely stay firmly in place. Thanks everybody once more, I really appreciate your help. I hope you liked the video and my work. See you later.